Uh, our results today show um, that in our primary analysis, that's uh, the analysis we agreed with all of the regulators, that the vaccine had 70% efficacy, which is fantastic. That's high efficacy, um, like we get with flu vaccines, and has the potential uh, to have a really important impact on the pandemic, because we also, in the trials, saw no one uh, go into hospital uh, with disease or develop severe disease if they had been vaccinated. Um, we also um, had these intriguing results, which you'll have heard reported in the media today, where one arm of our study had much higher efficacy, about 90%. That needs further work to look at it, but it's very exciting that there might be a way of immunising with the vaccine that gives even better um, protection. Clearly from today, uh, we have to provide all of the data to the regulators so that they can scrutinise that very carefully and decide whether it's appropriate to move forward for licensure and we look forward to working with them to provide everything that they need for that purpose um, in uh, the days and weeks ahead and if they do approve it um, we potentially with the the dosing regime that um, could be used we may have more doses available uh, than we thought uh, we have a vaccine uh, that can be used um, at fridge temperatures it can be stored at fridge temperatures and for for us in oxford this was really important because we want to be able to make sure that this can be distributed, not just in a country like this where we can manage any form of distribution, but around the world because the virus um, actually isn't just a problem here in the UK, it is for everywhere. And our partnership with AstraZeneca um, has been critical because they agreed with our um, vision for this of having a not-for-profit approach during the pandemic um, so that no one was profiteering from uh, making a vaccine um, in the uh, pandemic period. And that does mean that part of what we can um, offer uh, will be the equitable access around the world, which is absolutely um, the vision that there should be um, from um, a university.